So what does it mean when a spirit feels compelled to tell you their story? Ignore, I'm at an Airbnb. This is, <laughs> this is not my color. It is very tricky when we are first learning how to come out of the psychic closet and learn how to sit with spirit because you'll be walking down the street at a grocery store and spirit will speak to you from someone else and you will feel like it is now your job to have a conversation between you and the middle of the living with that spirit energy, but it is not your job. Now I'm asking you to not do this, but you're gonna do it because we all have to learn in our own way. I suggest not doing it just because you have no idea where that other individual is at with their own trauma. You, you can't just say, hey, did your mom die? Because I see a woman off of your shoulder who looks like your mom, who's giving me a message. And when you're not expecting that, when you are not ready for that, that could be a very traumatic experience for that person, which would not be healthy or ethical. So as much as you are going to want to, and as much as spirit might push, you simply have to learn how to acknowledge and walk away. If they didn't ask, it's none of your business.